In recent times, we have witnessed a significant and remarkable increase in the number of electric vehicles circulating on the streets. However, the brand and manufacturer Toyota is betting on an alternative technology that has the potential to change the landscape of the entire automotive industry. It is worth noting that I mentioned in a previous video on this channel that the CEO of Toyota publicly stated that he was against and believed that electric cars and motors were not the future. It may seem contradictory, but if you stop to think about it, Toyota was one of the pioneers in hybrid cars with the Prius model back then. However, it took them a long time to launch their line of fully electric cars, which would have been obvious for a manufacturer that positioned itself first in this market to continue in it. Toyota's engineers are now dedicating themselves intensively to improving this innovation that will transform the sustainable car market. Once again, Toyota has the potential to become the most important and influential automaker on the planet, now in a new segment. According to the current company president, this innovation can leave the competition far behind. But can this revolutionary technology really shake up the electric car industry? Follow this exciting revolution in the automotive world led by Toyota here on the channel. The hydrogen-powered engine is a technology that uses hydrogen as fuel to generate electricity, and the only byproduct is water. Unlike conventional cars that use fossil fuels like gasoline, alcohol, or diesel, electric cars are cleaner and do not emit harmful pollutants. Conventional cars, on the other hand, are responsible for a large portion of air pollution in various cities around the world, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Light vehicles, including cars and trucks, account for approximately 59% of carbon monoxide emissions, 52% of nitrogen oxide emissions, and 18% of sulfur dioxide emissions in the United States. Moreover, burning fossil fuels in cars contributes significantly to greenhouse gas emissions, which contribute to the climate changes we see today with colder days getting even colder and hotter days getting even hotter. Electric cars are a cleaner alternative to conventional cars, as they do not emit harmful pollutants daily. However, the production of batteries that power these vehicles can be quite polluting and harmful to our planet, especially in countries that rely on non-renewable energy sources. Additionally, the production and disposal of these batteries can generate extremely polluting waste. Just think about it, if our cell phones have a battery where the size of our palm, imagine the size of a battery in an electric car. It may take a little longer, but let's be honest, it will happen. On the other hand, hydrogen cars are even cleaner than electric cars because they do not generate pollution during operation. Additionally, hydrogen production can be done from renewable energy sources such as solar or wind energy, making these cars an even cleaner option for consumers. For this reason, Toyota and other companies are investing in the development of hydrogen technology and fuels to replace traditional combustion engines as well as conventional electric cars. Hydrogen cars have the potential to significantly reduce air pollution in cities and help combat climate change while providing a reliable and sufficient driving experience for us drivers. Hydrogen is a more abundant element in the universe and on Earth. To give you an idea, about 75% of our total mass is represented by the universe. It can be found in various places, such as oceans, rivers, terrestrial atmospheres, and even within living beings. However, despite being so abundant, hydrogen is not found in a free state in nature, it is always combined with other elements. I'm not going to give you a chemistry class, but a very simple explanation, water is H2O, which means hydrogen is present in water. To use hydrogen as fuel for engines, it is necessary to extract it from chemical compounds. The most common way to obtain hydrogen is through a steam reforming process, where water vapor is used with a fossil fuel-like natural gas to obtain hydrogen. 
Another source of hydrogen is water electrolysis, where electricity is used to separate the molecules of water, as I mentioned earlier. Although this process is considered a clean source of obtaining hydrogen, it is still not widely used due to the high energy cost involved. However, Toyota has been one of the pioneers in reducing the use of vehicles powered by fossil fuels. Since 1997, the Japanese automaker has been one of the biggest advocates of environmental conservation, leading the way towards a more sustainable future. Hydrogen-powered engines are a promising alternative to electric cars. While electric cars have received a lot of attention for their energy efficiency and emissions reduction, hydrogen engines offer significant advantages that make this technology very appealing. One of the main advantages of a hydrogen-powered engine is its ability to produce energy more efficiently than electric cars. While electric cars use batteries to store electricity, hydrogen engines produce electricity on board through a fuel cell. This means that hydrogen engines have much longer range than electric cars and can be refueled in a matter of minutes instead of hours, like electric cars. Additionally, hydrogen engines are much quieter than conventional internal combustion engines, similar to electric cars, as they have no moving parts, which also means they produce much less vibration and noise. This makes driving a hydrogen-powered car much more pleasant, especially when compared to gasoline and diesel cars, known for being noisy and vibrating. After all, that's the magic of a V8 engine, isn't it? But let's not get into that debate here. Hydrogen-powered engines also have the great advantage of being used in larger vehicles such as trucks and buses, which are already being made in Europe, not with hydrogen engines, but with electric motors, making them noiseless. Hydrogen engines have the capacity to produce more energy than electric batteries, which means they can also be used in larger vehicles that require more energy. However, not everything is perfect. We know that this type of engine can push and carry heavier cars, but there are some challenges that need to be overcome before this technology can be widely adopted. One of the biggest challenges is the limited hydrogen refueling infrastructure. Currently, there are few hydrogen refueling stations available, making driving hydrogen-powered cars impractical for many people. Moreover, the construction of new hydrogen refueling stations can be very expensive, limiting infrastructure expansion. I can't help but mention this, even with electric and hydrogen vehicles. Let's be honest, today we only have gas stations and all the infrastructure focused on petroleum because it took a long time to build. But I assure you, no matter how much technology and know-how we have today, how much would it cost to extract oil and refine it into cheap gasoline or diesel? However, despite these challenges, using hydrogen as fuel is much less polluting, making it more preferable than other forms of energy generation. The technology, in fact, is quite promising and has the potential to revolutionize the automotive industry, providing a cleaner and more sustainable option for transportation. The hydrogen storage still needs to be improved because hydrogen is an extremely light and flammable gas, which makes safe and efficient storage a major challenge. Currently, hydrogen is stored either at high pressure or in a liquid state, which can be costly and requires special equipment. Another challenge is the efficiency of the engine. While hydrogen-powered engines are highly efficient in terms of converting hydrogen to energy, the overall efficiency is affected by energy loss in the process of production, storage, and transportation of hydrogen. In other words, once it's in the car, everything is great, but there is loss of this type of fuel before it reaches the car. Although there are significant challenges to be overcome, I guarantee, and so does Toyota, that the use of hydrogen as fuel is a promising technology that has great potential to revolutionize the automotive industry and drastically reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. As technology advances and the costs of hydrogen production and transportation decrease, 
it is likely that the adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles will significantly increase. I'll also give you a spoiler, electric cars, which are already much more advanced in Europe today, present some problems with their batteries, mainly concerning degradation, where replacing a battery can sometimes cost almost as much as a new car. We will start studying these future issues after the arrival of electric cars. Furthermore, governments around the world are starting to invest more in research and development of hydrogen infrastructure, as I mentioned before, which is sure to accelerate the implementation of this technology. Fiscal incentives and subsidies are also being offered to encourage the adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles, similar to what has been done with electric vehicles, making it more accessible to consumers. In the long run, it is possible that hydrogen-powered vehicles and battery-powered electric vehicles will coexist in the market, each meeting different needs and applications. For example, battery-powered electric vehicles may be more suitable for short urban trips and city use, while hydrogen-powered vehicles may be more suitable for long-distance travel and rural areas where electric charging infrastructure may be less available. In summary, the use of hydrogen as fuel offers a series of benefits in terms of reducing air pollution and decreasing dependence on fossil fuels, although there are also some challenges to be overcome, such as limited infrastructure and production costs. It is likely that the adoption of hydrogen-powered vehicles will increase in the future as this technology matures and costs decrease. Of course, the combination of battery-powered electric vehicles and hydrogen-powered vehicles has great potential to transform the automotive industry and significantly contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions that pollute our environment. Now, what's your opinion? Do you believe in electric cars, hydrogen engines, or do you prefer internal combustion engines? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to hear your point of view. I make videos every day, so I'll see you tomorrow. If you liked it, leave a like and share it with at least one automotive enthusiast friend, just like me and you.